So guys, Nigerians and obedience have reacted over the comments made by Festus Kayamo, you know, on Twitter, that the Ministry of Labor, where he served, is useless. He has attacked Buhari for creating the Ministry of Labor, that they were all sitting idle. And also, the Minister for Education has come out to say that Buhari appointed him minister, even though he didn't have any clue when it comes to education. I just wanted to see how Nigerians have reacted to that on Twitter. Take a look. The Minister of Education, Adamo Adamu, made an open confession Thursday at the valedictory session by his ministry that he was a novice in the management of education when President Muhammadu Buhari made him the Minister of Education in 2015. Adamu said he was forced to apply wisdom by appointing some professors of education and other good hands with the help of the officials of the Ministry of Education to enable him kick off and make progress. Let's have a part of what he said. He said, I promised him that I will give that, the him here is Buhari, he said things earlier, that I promised him that I will give him names of competent people from at least 19 northern states. So I suggested to him to drop all the ministers that worked with him in the first tenure, including me. But I knew it would be difficult for him. And he continued to say that I didn't know anything about education sector when I was appointed minister except superficially but when Buhari decided to make me minister of education I called some people to assist me work on policy documents on education because I was novice in the sector I shared my idea with them and they assisted me greatly and I remain grateful to them for these years Eric the Great is, is reacting to that and he says confession time First, it was Festus Keyamu, now it is Adamu, but no worries, Tinubu won't make the mistake of appointing people just for political compensations. He will appoint the best of the best to actualize the dream of renewed hope. And um, from another user is Suleiman who says this man was writing columns week in, week out on how to reform and solve all the issues we have in the education sector only to say that he has no idea after serving eight years as a minister, a catastrophic failure. From another user, Uzoma is saying that, um, that he can acknowledge this fact so casually tells one a lot. For me, the issue is not that he was not an expert in the sector that he was appointed to head, but that he knew nothing about it, and yet they bristle when one accuses them of placing square pegs in round holes. From Ashia is saying that um, so many things are coming out now, yet we cannot blame Buhari entirely for such things. What is the point of the Senate screening exercise? Each state has three senators. What were they all doing allowing this appointment? What questions did they ask? Were they satisfied? And I think that this is very key um, question to answer. And from David is saying that, um, are we surprised with the way and manner you handled the ministry? Square pegs in round holes marred Buhari's administration. You cannot achieve greatness while, keep, while you keep fielding unqualified players in positions. Let me know what you think in the comment section below. Please don't forget to subscribe to my channel. Turn on the notification bell. Please give this video a like so that YouTube can recommend it to others. Thank you.